So artificial intelligence have reached a major milestone. New models are not only able to predict the next word, but are able to think, reason, and plan. OpenAI is O1 model, and soon models from Google and Anthropic are going to be pushing the boundaries of what is possible with this large language model technology. But what if you want to do more than use these models and pay the fee? What if you want to make your custom large language models that specialize in your niche? So in this video, I'm going to take you on a journey where we're going to bring down the cost of having your custom large language model from astronomical heights down to an individual level. Let's have it. Let's begin by crunching some numbers. Suppose you wanted to train a model like Llama 70B, a 70 billion parameter giant. To train such a large model, the requirements are staggering. It requires 1.5 terabytes of GPU VRAM, the equivalent of about 20 NVIDIA A100 GPUs. To own that setup, it costs over half a million dollars. With that kind of money, you can actually own a condo in Canada's tallest skyscraper, one that you're looking right behind me. And even if you're trying to rent out a GPU cluster of that size, it's gonna cost you around $20,000, enough to ditch this Segway and get myself a Harley Davidson or maybe a Triumph motorbike. So I was like, there has to be a better way. And after spending days on the internet, I figured out two ways that can bring down the cost of trading or fine-tuning a large language model to an individual level, something that we can train on one single GPU. First breakthrough is called quantization. Simply put, it compresses the model to require less memory, making it feasible to fine-tune without needing an expensive cluster of GPUs. Here's a simple drawing of a neural network. The line between these nodes are called weights. They're just numbers. Let's zoom in on one of those. As you can see, it's just a number. Typically, these weights are represented in a format called float32, meaning it requires 32 ones and zeros to represent that number in memory. As we all know, 8 bits equal to 1 byte, meaning just to represent this number, we require 4 bytes of memory. But there is a workaround. We can still represent a number that is very close to this number in 16 bits, meaning 16 ones and zeros, or also known FP16. Because we require half as much memory to store this number, that's why they are also called half precision. But as you can see, the number does not equal to what it was previously. Actually, the 16-bit number is a little bit less than what we had in 32 bits. You can do this even further. Instead of 16 bits, you can represent this number with 8-bit integer. Now you only need 8 ones and zeros to represent this number. But again, the number itself actually got reduced down to just 3. So as you can see, there is a trade-off. You can have very precise numbers that's going to require more memory or you can have less precise number and save up on the memory side but lose the precision. But fortunately, in our case, we have a new kind of data type called NF4 that represent this number in just four bits or one byte. But because it's a special kind of data type, it retains most of the precision of the original numbers. With help of quantization, we are now able to fit a really large large language model onto a GPU memory size of maybe one or two A100s. A lot less than what we were previously able to do, but still not on an individual level. So what can we do to bring down the cost even further? The answer is LoRa. In 2021, Microsoft Research came out with this beautiful research paper. The title is Low Rank Adaptations of Large Language Models. Basically, instead of fine tuning every single parameter of the large language model, you use some clever mathematics of matrix multiplication to reduce down number of parameters that you need to train to get your custom large language model. Here's an example. Suppose this is your whole large language model. You have about 100 by 100 matrix that you need to retrain. So about 10,000 parameters. What you do is you do not touch it. You freeze them and you create another matrix of the same shape, 100 by 100. Now you have this question that that's really not that clever. Previously, you had to retrain 10,000 parameters. Even with the new weights, you're still training 10,000 parameters. Not really. Here's where the clever mathematics comes into the play. Imagine you have two matrix A and B with the shape of 100 into 3 and 3 into 100. When these two matrix are multiplied, they are eventually going to result into this 100 by 100 matrix. But that's very memory efficient because if we just had a huge matrix of this shape 100 by 100, 
we are storing about 10,000 numbers right here. But with this new clever approach, instead of saving 10,000 numbers, we are just saving 600. So we are trading off memory for compute. And this is happening on every single parameter of the model. Meaning, instead of retraining all 70 billion parameters, we are just retraining a fraction of 70 billion, resulting in requiring less and smaller GPUs to retrain and fine-tune. This is where this new research paper comes into the play. It's called QLoRa. Meaning, we are quantizing the model and then using low-rank adaptation matrix to fine-tune it. Whatever we learned so far in the video, it's all merged into one single research paper. This all sounds very exciting and promising, but how do I do that? What kind of code do I need to write to do this? The great news here is that you don't really have to do anything. There are already libraries and Jupyter Notebook out there that you can use to fine tune any model of any open source nature on your custom dataset. For this video, I'm gonna use something called Unsloth. So this is their GitHub page. And if you go here, you can retrain Llama 3.18 billion which is twice as fast. Not only the techniques I showed in the video, but they're also using some compute efficient methods to accelerate the speed of fine tuning. So I'm gonna quickly walk you through how this works. First, we are just basically installing all of the dependencies and then initializing which model to retrain. So for example, if you just wanna retrain Llama 3.1, you can just use this model. Then when you wanna train the model, you have to upload your data set. Instead of coming up with the data set on your own, you can use synthetic data set, meaning a really clever large language model can help you build that data set. For example, if you wanna build a chatbot that responds to FAQs, frequently asked questions, then you can have your internal database feed it into GPT-40 and then create question answer pairs then use that to retrain the model. So instead of paying API fees to really top-notch models, you can have a very tiny concise model running locally or on your server that responds to the questions that your customer asks. All of the links from this video are gonna be below in the description. I hope you like the video. I hope you like the video. Every week, we're gonna do a deep dive in some of the important topics of large language models. So stay tuned for that. See you in the next one.